Hello everybody, this is Badge Wild, and we are back once again with another video. We are back building our little ship build, our very simplistic ship that can get us around. Not as much a survival ship as it is just a just a well-rounded ship that anyone can build just to go through the ship building process and to show people how I do this. Uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, do consider subscribing. If you haven't checked out the channel, do check out the channel because I've got a whole bunch of other videos going on, including this little series, uh, which I think I'm making its own series, its own playlist. So, <coughs> excuse me. I've been underneath the house this week and uh, I may have inhaled way too much black mold. So I'm a little stopped up and sick but we're going to continue on anywho starting up we have all our nice little blocks going on and last time we got in here and did this oh boy we had a lot of things we had to work on and a lot of things we had to hammer out several details number one figuring out where the leaks were inside the ship and plugging all of those I also have to figure out now how I'm going to do the front of this ship. And uh, for those just wondering what the inside of this thing is like, uh, let's just go on in here for a second. Give you all a quick retour of this. Let's click some lights on. <laughs> As I said, we've got everything going on. I'm just doing a recap because it's been a while since I've I've been in here. We've got our storage area in here for all of our uh, gear and equipment. That's interesting. Why is this missing? I wonder why. Is this thing airtight? Oh, yeah, we're airtight. That's that's weird. I ain't never seen that happen. Anyway. um, Kind of need a something down here. We get our storage. Ah, oh, that's what I did wrong. I have to put in a I find that. <clears throat> Sorry folks. Like I said, I am kind of sick. Ah, but the show must go on. So Here, look at this, you know, this nice little T junction here. Put that in. That gets rid of that annoying looking deal. We can access our reactors here. We have access to our batteries. We have access to some gyroscopes <coughs> on the ship. We also have access to our two turret controls, which is going to run this ship. And we're also going to have a couple of blocks here. Once I figure out how I'm going to put those in, I may just shove them in here in a minute. But right now, let's go back. You can see we got this nice little single point. We can access our hydrogen, our oxygen tank. We can access our O2 H2 generator. And continuing forward, let me take that off real quick. We now have a two-man bed and bath, <coughs> as well as a kitchen mixed in. We'll be able to put some cool stuff in here. We also have a locker for the guys, anyone who's inside this little area. We have a secondary armory here, which has our equipment survival kit. And this is what I would suggest. If you're going to have a survival kit, have a survival kit in which you can pop in and you can just run up and start grabbing stuff off the of walls. So if you need uh, MA-50 and ammunition, it's all right here stored in this. If you need tanks and stuff, filled tanks and oxygen bottles are all stored right here, as including tools. So you pop in here, run over, grab you some gear, grab you this in case you got to fight your way back off the ship. And you've got... A secondary armory in here just in case just in case now continuing forward we have access to our turrets this is where our turrets are going to be fed ammunition and then we have this doorway right here which is going to have to be turned into a cockpit of some type but first i have got to get this thing looking like a ship on the outside <laughs> so sorry i'm so sorry folks i am i am really sick today but never say I don't care about the fans. So what we're going to do here is we're going to probably make this work a bit more. And we've got these ion thrusters here. I'm looking at our ship and we're just a little bit too much of a brick. I'm 
I'm wanting to curve some things. I'm wanting to make some things curvy. Uh, we're wanting to, you know, break up the shape a little bit more. And down here we've got <laughs> this. Wait a minute, what? Where is my shape up here? This is interesting. I have a shape here. There we go. So now we can add a ship there, a gun turret there, and we can add a gun turret here. We're going to have to increase the size of this area to a point anyway. And we may have to do some stuff to this uh, bottom half. Also have to figure out this section here, putting some stuff in there, make it all look good. So yeah. Let's start figuring out how we're going to do this. Number one, we've got to cover this area up. So I want to start here. I know I, I want to cover that area, but I really want to start right here. And figure out. Because <clears throat> we need to come up with a way to pull this out and have it work here so that I can get the cockpit in and make it look good. Now, I came up with a couple of ideas for a good cockpit. And I think the best one would probably be to use the new bubble. I don't know how well that's going to work. Also, while we're at it, before we do, let's hit M. <coughs> get the center of this don't worry, folks. I'm just coughing because I'm sick. It's okay. Not dying yet. Let's look into the three here. And let's just add that. There. Let's just see what happens when we put these in. Okay, we've got that. Now the question is, do I want a massive cockpit or do I want a small cockpit? And in reality, I may I may want to put like a staircase here going up into <coughs> cockpit area. But then I require that. And then, let me think, let me think, let me think. I think we're going to put this back here. This is how I'm doing this. I'm just working as I go. Let's put some nice stairs in. These. <coughs> However, if I put the other stairs in. This would be really different. Oh okay, yeah, let's not do stairs. Um, let me pull. See, the thing is, I got to figure out how to pull all this together. That's the problem. Take these sections out here. We'll just work around that. Okay, I need. I need this section here to come down like so. But what I don't need is it to come down quite that hard. Let me turn that air conditioner off real quick. <clears throat> that is becoming a problem. Sorry about that, folks. Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. That's all they are. They're just technical difficulties. We're all fine. So here's my plan. I am going to... No, not that. Go here and then here. And that should give us enough space to do a pretty fancy-looking cockpit here. I can delete this and figure out what I'm going to do with it later. 
Now, what I need to do... is we're going to put block there. And go back to number two here. And that'll just give us an interesting look right there on the top. You can see we're going, we're, you're, you're going to see this real quick. We're, <coughs> we're going to go from a brick to a fancy looking ship. Or semi-fancy. Semi fancy, probably semi fancy. All right, um, let's go. Look for window. There we go. There's our windows. That's like a two block long. Do number five here. And <clears throat> we'll place that there. You can see where we're about to go with this real quick. Um, let me think, let me think, let me think. We'll add one more here. And let me grab number eight. We're going to do this. Wait, hold up. Hold up. Yeah, y'all see what's happening there? Ah, what is going on here? Hold the phone. <laughs> that even connected. I ain't sure on that connected. No, it's not connected. It's not connected. Ah, I thought we about made a mistake there, folks. Okay. All right. <laughs> there we go. That right there. And then let's head back. That's one of the reasons why you also want to put the mirror mode on here because with this on, I, I suddenly saw a problem arise that needed to be fixed. I'd have had this problem later. All right, eight. We're going to set this on there. Okay. And. As well as eight, we're going to slip on down here. <coughs> there we go. And back to five. Okay, this is going to be interesting. we go. Look at that fancy schmancy looking cockpit right there. That's fancy schmancy right there. <coughs> mm. Again, folks, I'm very sorry for being sick. Now, for the bottom of this, let's go back before we do anything else. And let's grab number two here. And we'll spin this around. Do something similar to what we did a minute ago. And I will try to work this into the overall design here in a minute. Um, let's see, what do we need to do next? We need to, one, take this area up here and make that flow around so we can encompass that. The other thing I need to do, no, not that. <coughs> Let's go number one. We got these fancy smancy new blocks. Let's see how these work. Um, let's put this up here. Tactical spin that around. Or, oh, this is a nice one. And that's not going to work. Um, all right, there we go. That looks interesting. Right there. And that gives us a whole lot of room to play with. Now, if I, if I work this in like so, <clears throat> I can do this. 
and I can push right here. Go on like that, and we can push that into a whole new section. And thus, we can have a nice, fairly wide and open looking bridge. Let's turn this off for a minute so we can look at this. See, this is a fairly nice bridge. We've got a nice open bridge. We've got this open area up top. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, do I want to do this? Maybe not. I do. I I like this, but at the same time, I don't like it. Let's uh, take this stuff out. What happens when we do this? And we do that. What we got here? What happened to my cockpit here? That's what I need to do. Let's put the cockpit here. There we go. We got this nice cockpit here. <laughs> Let's look around. Yeah, this isn't giving me the vision vibes I'm wanting. Okay, step back here. Um, go to seven. Okay, that's going to cause problems. We don't need to do that. I need number four. Not that number four. That number four. Perfection. Show me the real one. There it is. All right. Um, let's see. What's the next thing? Let's grab this one again. Now we could do this. Or I could do this. And then I could possibly do something over here just to make it look more interesting. I could beef this section up here and <clears throat> make that look a whole lot more uh, impressive visually. Now you can see the cockpit. You've got, you can see all around. You can see that that is actually going to have an effect on the shape of the ship if we can keep this going. <clears throat> so we'll go back in here. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. What are we going to do next? We got to get back to our... Let's see. There we are. Uh, let's try four here. We'll do that. And then, hmm. Go to one. Yeah, this works. Oh, yeah, that's going to give us a beefy look right there. We do that. And with that, I could actually add something in between here, probably. Uh, this now becomes a section that I could add something to. And so this area here. I can now put something in here. I can put an armory. I could put a bathroom here. I could put a vending machine in one side and a <clears throat> uh, let's see, a ATM on the other. So we've got all that extra stuff going. So not bad, not bad at all. Okay. Now I don't want to make this entirely workaroundable. So we'll put that there. We may let this just bulge out just a bit here. Accidentally hit R. Okay. Um, hmm. <coughs> Let's go to... Hmm. Go to four. We can pull out some of this slope armor here. Okay, we're, we're not going to do that yet. But what I can do is this. I can start adding more armor right in here. And we're going to be pulling pieces. You're going to see as I do this, I'm going to pull pieces off and put pieces on so we can get exactly what we want. Also learned a new trick about the uh, one deal. But let's, let's keep going here. Um, 
<laughs> what next? What next? What do we do next? Uh, let's go to one. That, and we'll do this. You see right here, we're getting a very interesting look. If I can get my... Do you see we're, we're getting this really cool, almost uh, turtle-like look to the ship as I'm taking stuff out. I'm going to probably high hide this. I'm going to like high-rise that probably a little bit so it looks a little bit better. But yeah, it's it's looking good already. Check that out. Now, the only problem I've got is right here because we're going to have to figure out a way to... And what we may do is I may actually move these over to the side. Because <laughs> like I said, you're going to you're gonna manipulate things a lot with a ship like this. So it may actually become a better option to move those thrusters over to the side. And that would, it would actually shrink the size of the ship. It would expand it out a bit more, but we would have more stuff protecting the sides of the ship. So when you turned it... <laughs> Uh, flat like this, so that this top gun can fire and this and the bottom gun can be shooting as well. You'll have all that good stuff going on. Let's look here. What can I do? What can I do? Uh, hmm. Well, here's what I can do right now. Let's take these off. And let's take those off. Well, we're going to put them over here, and I'm going to chop this section out. Just like that. Okay, so we're going to put these next thrusters right down here. Uh, like so. I'm going to replace those. Because like I said, you're going you're gonna to basically just do this all the time while you're building the ship. Don't be afraid to take something off and try something different. <laughs> You'll be amazed at what you end up with. So we got that going. We can continue this shape around. And that'll actually give us a little bit more beefiness to the turret system. It'll look amazing. We're about to have a revelation. A newer, better revelation. All right, here we go. Um, enough of my bad Arnold accent going on. Uh, let's see. Number four, <laughs> once again. And, okay, so we got that going. That'll be an easy fix. Let's spin this around here. Like so. Just notice that. I could do that there. And then we'll do that, and that just creates a break. That's all it's going to do. It's just going to break up the ship a little bit more. Go to number two. Booyah. Check that out. That looks pretty good. See, we're taking the brick out of it. We're taking the brick out of it. That's what we're doing. We're taking the brick away. <laughs> I know what everyone's thinking. Oh my God, Badger, you made a brick. And hey, give me a minute. Give me a sec. I will solve the brick problem. Don't worry. Now. Continuing on, I, let's see, I do not <coughs> want the brick, I want this thing to stay in uh, this format. I want to start thinning this down, so it looks a little better, and then I can Brought back to that. And then what I'm going to do here is we're just going to do this just for style points, if I can get it to work. <laughs> you see how that's working. You see that interesting look we're getting right now. So we're getting this really cool look going on. And once I start smoothing everything out and putting new stuff in, we're really going to have a good look. I may actually take... I'm a little leery about doing this because if I take this out, I think it's connected. I think it's connected to everything, but I'm going to have to go in and connect some other stuff up here. 
We don't have a, a screw up, <laughs> so to speak. <laughs> okay, um, let's go ahead and solve this as a problem. I'm going to need that there and probably those there because I want this kind of loop look going on here. Now to solve that, do this, we'll do that. And then we'll figure this out here in just a minute. I will have to take out. Now I can go through here and I can start taking small pieces out and start reworking the system. So that it starts looking better. I am going to have to take this entire bottom section out, but we're going to replace it with a much flatter uh, set of blocks, or we will just replace it with heavy armor one blocks. It's totally up to me what I do when I'm. So first things first, we need to start getting this shape up here, start matching the bottom. Um, let's go with number three. And I do, I do like having slick looking ships sometimes. Okay. All right. That's, that's a problem. We're already having a problem here. Okay. Let me think here. Huh? We've got other blocks here. Let's try one of them. Uh, this is when number five is going to come into play. Nope. Um, nope. 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 Okay. Hold up. Uh, let's try. Let's try number two here. I can't get something here. Because the other one didn't work. All right, I'm wanting to do this. Okay, I see, I see what I gotta do now. I see what I gotta do now. Let's go back up, let's go here. Okay, we'll take that out. And to make everything, all the angles just match up good. Let's uh, flip over here. Like so. Add that. Do number three. Add those in. And then number four. Boom, check that out. The brick is being toned down, folks. We are losing the brick look. The brick is being ripped apart and it's being made to look more like a heavily built ship. All right, that's, that's working out pretty good. So we're probably gonna continue this on here, here, and I'm gonna have to do something <laughs> Similar there. Okay, I gotta, I gotta figure this out <laughs> right over here. Cause that ain't gonna work like I wanted it to. All right, let's take these out. And here's an idea: we'll bulk this area up. Me too. Anyway, we'll just slap three of them right there. Give ourselves a bit more lift while we're over there. And then I can manipulate this section here to my heart's content. Like I said. <coughs> you are going to change things. You are going to manipulate stuff. Then things to your will while you are playing this game. And you're going to have a lot of fun doing it. If you're not having fun uh, manipulating things in Space Engineers, you're not Space Engineering. I would dare say you're not engineering properly. If you are not manipulating things like you're supposed to. Okay, so we've got... 
Um, all right, we got to go here. Like so. And I'll figure this section out here in just a minute. <laughs> we need... Let's see, what do I need? Number two. Need this. Right there. So we can you know, fly this thing up to a station. Just That's what we need that for. Right there. And... I'm looking here. Let's go one. I'll go with this, this very simple angle here. I think. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to go with this very simple angle. And then we're going to bulk that there. And we may come back with a different angle here. Mm. Yeah, this is probably what we need to do. <laughs> Fill that in there. No, nope, not with that. Not you. Fill that one in there. We got this nice look going on there. We got this nice bulk coming off the side there. And then we'll tear the roof off here and start figuring out what dips and stuff I want to put in there. So then... One, and a two. I know this is going to create an airlock issue, but we're going to have to work with it for now. Um, <clears throat> gonna cover that. Don't worry, folks. I'm gonna put that there. Uh, let's take that out for the moment. Let's do this and work go down this little angle. Get that to match. Now, here, let's look back at it from a distance. You can see we are taking the brick out of the brick. All right, it is looking good from different angles. You're getting a really different look, and it's doing a lot of different things. This is something you'll be flying through the verse, and it'll just be like, oh, wow, look at that thing. <laughs> People will just be like, oh, cool. Check that out. I think I may actually remove this. Oh, I'm starting to get hoarse. I'll warn everybody, especially the ladies. When I get hoarse, I kind of get the sexy voice going down. Like the chef from South Park. I'm going to lay you down, baby, down by the fire tonight. Most of you are probably looking at the screen like, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> what, what, what am I listening to? <laughs> Hear me, I'm about to, like, die right now. Ah, okay, uh, let's go up one. Or right here. Let's see, what do I want to do? Let's do this. Let's see how that looks. Okay, we can do that. Do I have the motion to pull this off? Let's see. Let's uh let's try this. Oh, that's way too sharp an angle. Okay, that doesn't work. Um No, that won't work. That won't work. Okay, yeah, that's going to create a whole lot of logistical issues there. Let's knock these off real quick. Let's go to number three. Number three has usually got some nice blocks here. <coughs> there we go. Those are done. And let's go to number two. And 
Um, hmm, let me think here. Do again. Oh, let's spin this around and do that. That'll create a very odd angle there. Almost a rounding effect. And we can go from there. The problem is right here, because i got to figure out how to make this tie into that. That's not making it easy. <clears throat> I may have no choice. I may have no choice <coughs> but to figure something else out. Mm. We might just move these back a bit more. Might just move one of these back to here. Give myself a bit more room to work with. That way I can pull this in. Uh, let's try here. I want to do that. No, let's keep it as straight as possible. And then we'll start pulling it down. Do this. And pull this up there. I want to do this or try something. Maybe I can salvage that. <laughs> Maybe I can salvage that little maneuver I just pulled. Do. And let's let's stay with the uh small bricks on the side. Well, here's the thing. Yeah, let's do that. And we can still shove uh, that engine in there. That'll be semi-protected. Probably not as much protection as these are getting, but yeah, semi-protected. Now then, <clears throat> let's get to filling this in. It'll give us a pretty decent amount of armor here. Could I put a thruster in there? Yeah, I probably could. I could probably put a thruster in there and get my... Actually, I should do that. We should do that. F this. Let's do it. Let's add one more thruster here. And then I will add a order block here. Oh, like so. And then we just got to skin over this. And once I skin over this, it'll it'll pretty much be protected. So, here, let's grab number two again. Do that. Uh, let's do this. This and I've got something I want to do here. I just don't know if I can pull it off or not. <clears throat> yeah, I've, I've got a plan for that. We'll figure that out. Um, all right, go to number five. That's the block I'm doing. There. Block that goes here. No, we don't. Look at that bull crap. Oh, that's interesting. Actually, it's really not, but <clears throat> there's not a whole lot I can do about that right now. Hmm. I'll have to figure that out later. <laughs> we'll have to figure that one out later. Oh my god. Ah wonderful. <laughs> Just wonderful. The design. The design's gonna have to be reworked again. Figure that one out. Okay. Let me see here. We are gonna have to go with number two. And 
send that around there. I might have to do something different right there at that particular moment. Let's see. Um, number two. Do I have a... I should have a block that can go there. I think. I think that would go there and make it look good. Ah, oh, dear lord, they don't make a... Angular block for that one, do they? Oh, wait, maybe we do. Uh, no. <laughs> that ain't gonna work. This one might, though. Hmm. Yeah, see, this is the problem I'm running into. I need a block like this. I have one of four. Nope. 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 Well, dang. Gonna have to figure this is gonna have to be done a different way somehow. Let me look here real quick. I may be thickening this out just to make it work. All right, we're gonna we're gonna have to do that. We're gonna have to do this now. I thought I could get away with it. I thought I could, <laughs> but it just aim just doesn't want to cooperate. Okay, that's working. That's working. Now, I can come in here and I can work this section in. I can carve this area out here, <laughs> make it look more uh, interesting on the top, which will add more. Uh, let's add number five. Let's then also add four here. See, it's all coming together. All coming together. Number three. Can't do the original plan, so that's what we're going to have to deal with. And then I need... Number two just come in like that. All the way probably to the very end. At least for a bit. I'll figure out a way to break this up in a minute. What I might do uh, is we... Actually, let's do this. Let's tear this out and tear a few squares off here. Now, uh, let's tear these out as well. Oh, I just realized... Something here. <laughs> the ship is not... Ah, that's annoying. Okay, what, what am I missing here? Okay, I need at least three to cover this section up. Ah, oh, that's just making life more difficult, I swear. Okay, so for those of you that are wondering what happened just now, when I added this extra thruster here, that kind of effed this up. So we can't have that now. Just gonna have to add a piece of armor here. And uh, hope for the best. <laughs> hope for the best. All right, we got the three we need there. Add our, our armor block there. A few of those out. So I can manipulate this ship a bit more. All right. That way we can add a, a few more interesting details up here. Just kind of manipulate this shape a bit more. So now, let me see here. Uh, four. And we'll put him there. And there. 
Um, no. What do I need here? I need this one. Oh, yeah. Slip that in there. And I realize I, I messed up here with this one, so we're going to take him out. <laughs> Um, two. All right. Okay, we can't put that there. We can put one there. Add some here. Hmm. Let's do that because that's going to be interesting coming off. Yeah, we'll do something there. That'll work. And uh, throw some box in there for good measure. Let's grab. Now this is going to create a few small po small pocket areas in the ship, which will be fine. But it'll also let us uh, manipulate some other things. Like I said, we don't want this to be a total military ship. That would be very boring. In my opinion. At least right now it would be. Like I said, we're just hacking and carving. Hacking away. <laughs> Carving at the system here. All right, back to four. And with this, we could add, like, uh, some defensive turrets right up here just to make everything look good. You see right now, we're tearing apart. The ship's brick shape is, is disappearing now. You see this thing go from brick to something interesting now. And we may add some kind of detail block or something here later, but let's, let's continue on. Uh, we're at number four. Let's do this. And then we'll go number two. <laughs> and I will give me for my coughing, ladies and gentlemen. It is not something that I am doing purposefully. Yes, I'm going to continue to apologize for it. Now, what we can do is let's do this we had a bit more bulk here as we we go back into this next section yeah <coughs> life must go on we'll do that and then we'll come back around and do this. This is just a neat little trick y'all y'all just gonna love. See there, now we've got this little corridor coming around. Okay, and then we can run Number two over. 
and then go back to four here. Do that. <laughs> not that. <clears throat> not that. Not that. Do that. And then we can just start covering this area up with regular blocks and then begin the process of, well, basically just covering it. Um, let's see. What am I going to do next? What am I going to do now? What am I going to do now? Hmm. We may let this just kind of bulk out a bit on the back end so it looks you know, a little more industrial. Um, hmm. What do I do next? Let's try number three. I'm going back to try to use this block again. <clears throat> Provide a little bit more unnecessary bulk. We'll do that, I think, would be the best way to go. For now. <clears throat> we may even take these thrusters and just drop them a bit. So they're in there really nice and good. Kind of like low. You can still see them good. All right, now... Um, hmm. How we go there, <coughs> to there. I'll come up with a way to bend that here in a minute. Ah, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Number four again. But oh, we can't put that in there. <laughs> ah, that's just getting interesting. Put this one in. That one. Uh, okay. And then we put that one in. This one. And there you go. That makes the back end of it look pretty good. <clears throat> and now all I need is number two. Yuck. Juke, 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 and uh, there's that done. And uh, as you can see here, <clears throat> we've got our little cargo space freighter looking pretty darn good, if I do say so myself. We've got a nice little cockpit sitting up there in the front. We've got our engines and everything. We're going to... Cover those up here in just a moment with some stuff. We're going to have to find a way to cover those. But most of our engines are fairly tucked in. They are covered up by some nice components. They're covered up by blocks. Let me just slap this one right there. And you see we're looking pretty darn good on this thing. This is me just putting on some finishing touches. There we go. See that that is starting to look nice. That's starting to look nice. Nice, 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 nice. Now what we can do <clears throat> here. Go to number four. And... Let's try that. And there we go. We've got our engines pretty well protected. A nice set here. It doesn't quite totally match in the front and the back. That's because we're we're having some issues with this stuff. I may end up taking this crap out. <laughs> Eventually. I always take this out. Because I need to come up with something a little better than that. Come on, Badger. You can do better than this. 
You're better than this. You're better than this. I'll shove that there. Uh, we'll do number two. Hmm. <sighs> it's creating an issue. <clears throat> A bad issue. Hmm. Uh, this ain't good. Uh, let's try... Let me go up here and do something. Welcome to Space Engineers, folks, where Badger will fix something umpteen, umpteen thousand times before he gets exactly what he wants. Aha! If you got one of those... And that works... It's not exactly what I want. Ah, oh, come on. Um, now. Ugh. <laughs> <This> is... <sighs> Uh, I think I take. Uh. Okay, this is what we're going to have to do. That and refigure this back a bit. Let's get this to work first. <clears throat> this is another thing about building ships. Sometimes you got to find the part that's going to help everything else float good. You see here, this is going to help with the flow of the ship now. The other part, nah, that's, that's not going to help at all. <laughs> so we're going to slap that there. We're going to go to number two. And add these. And it's off to number three. That there. And then five. Boom, look at that. That's giving us a nice shape. You see now, this thing is just turning itself into a ship. It's just becoming a nice little vessel that is going to be super helpful when you're out. We've got all the functionality we want right now, <laughs> at least most of it. And as all of y'all can see, <laughs> we've gone from brick to... A very interesting crab. You can see we've taken the brick almost completely out of it. I know y'all were worried about it. You're like, oh my god, the Badger's building the brick. Oh no. Oh no, how will this work? And uh, it's working out pretty good. Uh, it's turned into a very nice little ship. So, we have the ability to get in. We can not only get in, but now I've showed y'all how you just start manipulating the shape. Okay, originally we had this top section here where you got these ribs coming around. We kind of moved those, manipulated them a little bit. We'll probably go back in, <clears throat> and I may see about manipulating some other stuff. I don't know. I know that's one layer, and there are certain blocks I can't just put in there to make that work. So that's an impossibility. I also want to take the sides of this thing and make them work a little bit better. Uh, so they're actually, you know, doing pretty good. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to do that. I want to. I want to shape this just a bit more. But we've got our, our engines looking good. We just have to do the bottom side of this ship. Also, while you guys are watching, if you've made it this far, please name this thing. 
Uh, I would like a good name if you guys could come up with a good one. And I'll put it on a screen on the side of the ship. And when y'all download this thing, it'll be perfect. We're not putting any major moving parts. We're going to put two positions on this thing so you guys can mount a couple of turrets. And if y'all want, you'll be able to mount uh, a bunch of smaller turrets on the side of this thing and really make it stand out. Anyway, I am Badger Wild, folks. <coughs> oh, man, forgive me for that cough again. I am very sorry, but this is me building an awesome looking little ship and this thing will go up on the workshop and when it is done and you guys will get to take this thing and print it off and play with it. Uh, hope you guys enjoy this ship when it gets done. Uh, it's, it looks like it's going to take a couple more videos. I'm, I'm guessing maybe three more in this series to get it done. And that is to add the detail bits, the little greeblies and stuff like that, that I want to add to it and just make it look just make it look beautiful. You know, uh, this is going to be something that you would, a ship you basically would buy off of a lot. It's not going to be something I'm going to super armor up or make it look like a beast. It's going to be something you buy and then you would fly it out and just go do some fun missions with it. Um, you could do maybe a light escort mission with this thing, put some custom guns on it. You'd probably do a whole lot more, but anyway, we'll worry about that later. Anywho, thank you all for watching the video. This is Badger Wild telling you all stay safe, stay frosty, and I'm signing out.